Welcome to the second and final day of the 2023 CCAE Pre to Excellence Award Celebration. My name is Julie Davis, Vice President External Relations and Development at Trent University and the current Chair of Board for the CCAE. Thank you for joining us as we recognize more of the top achievements in Canadian advancement. As a national organization, CCAE recognizes that Canada is home to the many Indigenous peoples whose traditional territory stretched across this country. I am located on the treaty and traditional territory of the Michisagi Ganeshnabeg, with whom my university has a meaningful and multifaceted relationship. As we all pursue our important work in the field of education, we have a remarkable opportunity to advance truth and reconciliation in our communities and across the country. This event is a celebration of excellence, of the great work that you and your colleagues do every day to raise funds, build relationships, and help our institutions achieve their mission. On behalf of CCAE, I'd like to thank and congratulate all the nominees for the great work that we're seeing. This is a wonderful year and a great celebration. I also wanna recognize and appreciate all of the volunteer coordinators and judges for this year's program. It's a big commitment of time and we really appreciate you celebrating your colleagues by giving of your time. To volunteer is really impressive. Thank you so much. CCAE is very thankful to longtime Pre to Excellence program sponsor, Tempo Framing Systems. CCAE and Tempo look forward to sending institutions their frame certificates later this summer. For now, we'll be sharing electronic pre medallions so you can showcase your awards in the digital sphere. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mike Lavangi from Tempo Framing to come forward and say a few words. Good afternoon. On behalf of Bob Lee, Ian Chu Wing, and myself, Mike Lavangi, I would like to welcome you to the Tempo Framing Pre Excellence, where we celebrate excellence in education and advancement work at Canadian educational institutions across the country. Tempo has been with CCAE since the beginning, and this is the 23rd year Tempo is the sponsor of this event. We would like to take this opportunity to congratulate this year's recipients. Bob and I will be in Calgary for this year's CCAE. If you are planning to attend, please take time to drop by our booth and say hello. I hope you enjoy this year's awards program. Thank you. Thank you, Mike, Bob, Ian, and everyone at Tempo Framing. CCA is grateful for your support. So we're back with our MC, Ben Shapdelaine of Hillfield Strathallen College. So please welcome me, uh, please join me in welcoming Ben. And thank you again, Ben, for helping CCAE host this celebration. Over to you. Thank you so much, Julie. Merci et bonjour à tous. I'm delighted to be back as your host for day two of this year's Prix d'Excellence Awards and cannot wait to see who the recipients will be. As mentioned, today is the second day and the final one of the awards, and we encourage you to visit the CCAE website to view all of the 2023 recipients. You can always recap the recordings of each day at ccaecanada.org or right here on YouTube. Please tweet and share in the recognition of your colleagues and be sure to tag CCAE by using the handle at CCAE Canada. Nous soulignons aujourd'hui les réalisations des catégories 13 à 24 et nous allons maintenant commencer l'annonce de ces prix d'excellence 2023 pour les 12 catégories. Today we'll, we will be recognizing categories 13 through 24. So let's just get right into it. Starting off today with category 13, creativity on a shoestring. The bronze medal goes to the University of Victoria for where there is a will, there is a way to win. Congrats to project leads Christy Culprin and Jennifer Sandmeyer, project supervisor Laura Milligan, and everyone who contributed from UVic. The silver is awarded to York University for hashtag York U Convo 2022. Well done and congratulations to project lead Jason Miller and project supervisor Robin Edmison. And the gold award goes to Saskatchewan Polytechnic for international student testimonials. A round of applause and job well done to project lead Tanya Turner, project supervisor Allison Moroski and all involved in this project.
Next up today, we have category number 14, best website. The bronze recipient is York University for 2022 President's Annual Report, driving positive change. Bravo to the York U team, including project lead Krista Ann Davidson and project supervisor Priyanka Debna. Silver goes to Red River College for Program Explorer. Kudos to all involved at RRC, including project lead Felipe Matoso and project supervisor Christian Robin. And the gold award for the best website goes to Queen's University for Queen's Alumni Review website redesign. Well done to all at Queen's and amazing work by project lead Alex Bashara and project supervisor Scott Anderson. For category 15, best publication, print or online, we have Queen's University receiving the bronze for Queen's Alumni Review. Congratulations to all who contributed to this multi-award winning project, including project lead Alex Bashara, project supervisor, Scott Anderson, well done. And for the second year in a row, taking the silver for best publication is the University of Manitoba for UM Today, the magazine. Congratulations to all contributors, including project lead Katie Chalmers Brooks and project supervisor Michael Marshall, and of course, to all the other contributors listed. And the gold award goes to the University of Toronto, also for the second year in a row, for University of Toronto Magazine. Excellent work again, U of T. Congrats to Project Lead Scott Anderson, Project Supervisor Catherine Riddle, and all the contributors to this publication. Now, on to our first video category of the day. Category 16, best use of video or film towards engagement. You can watch these amazing videos using the QR codes on the screen at your leisure. Starting off with bronze with McMaster University for studying Black Death at McMaster University. Great work to all involved, including project lead Matthew Clark and project supervisor Monique Beach. Moving on to the silver, and it goes to Wilfrid Laurier University for the West Hall Reunion Feels Reels. Congratulations and great work by project lead Steve Frangakis and project supervisor Jennifer Caldwell. And the gold goes to the team from Concordia University for Asian Heritage Month. Incredible job. Bravo to project lead Melodie Le Siège and project supervisor Sylvain Jacques Desjardins. La deuxième catégorie de vidéo est la catégorie 17, meilleure utilisation d'une vidéo ou d'un film pour information. The second video category is category 17, best use of video or film for information. Il n'y a qu'une entrée gagnante pour cette catégorie et elle est la médaille de bronze décernée à l'Université de Montréal pour individu armé. Savez-vous comment réagir? Nous félicitons Marie-Lou Garon, chef de projet, et Alain Charbonneau, superviseur de projet, pour un travail bien fait. Judges in this category stated that this was an important initiative that was tastefully done, easy to understand and sensitive to an audience that may remember the 1989 École Polytechnique shooting. Moving on to the final video category of the day, and that's category 18, best use of video or film for an announcement. The bronze recipient is Red Deer Polytechnic for athletics brand reveal video. Fantastic work by project lead Scott Malo, project supervisor Georgina Nikoriak, and everyone involved from the Red Deer Poly team.
The silver goes to Cape Breton University for CBU scholarship delivery video. Congratulations to project lead Nash Brockton and project supervisor Marianne Cable. And the gold goes to the Toronto Metropolitan University for the video called Our New Chapter Begins Now. Well done and amazing work by project lead Catherine Grefland, project supervisor Jim Wenzel, and the many contributors. The next category is category 19, best report to donors. The bronze goes to Carleton University for plan giving impact report. Well done and congratulations to project lead Holly Gretrex, project supervisor Jennifer Conley, and the other many contributors listed. The silver is awarded to Thompson Rivers University for your report on philanthropy 2021 2022. Well done and congratulations to project lead Kathy Sinclair, project supervisor Kim Kassar. Tarek Jani, and all involved from TRU. And the gold award goes to the University of Waterloo for 2021-2022 report on giving. Congratulations and bravo to project lead Andrea Olson and project supervisor Beth Bonner. Now on to category 20, best print brochure, newsletter, or flyer. And the bronze is awarded to the University of British Columbia for the blue and gold book. Great work and kudos to all involved, including project lead Kieran Davey and project supervisor Fred Lee. The silver goes to Carleton University for giving insight fall 2022. Congratulations, Team Carlton, and great work by project lead Holly Gretrex and project supervisor Jennifer Conley. And the gold recipient for best print of brochure newsletter or flyer is McMaster University for Brighter World Research Excellence Brochure. Congratulations to all involved from Mac, including Richard Valentine and Michael Weber. For category 21, best feature writing English. Saskatchewan Polytechnic receives bronze for the sustainability and lifelong learning at the core of Sask Polytech's first polar bear eco trip. Congratulations to all, including project lead Med English and project supervisor Chaz Osborne. Silver goes to the University of Toronto. For University of Toronto magazines, preventing the next pandemic. A great achievement for the U of T team, and congrats to project lead Scott Anderson and project supervisor Catherine Riddell. And the gold goes to the University of Toronto again for University of Toronto magazines, a prescription for equality. Kudos to the many individuals involved in the project and to the lead, Don Campbell, and project supervisor, Julia Oosterman. Well done. For la catégorie 22, meilleur article de fond français, la médaille de bronze est décernée à l'Université de Montréal pour partage en terres autochtones pour élargir les horizons. Nous félicitons Mylène Tremblay, chargée de projet, et Nadia Catelier, superviseur de projet, pour un travail bien fait. La médaille d'argent est décernée à l'Université de Montréal pour les arts et les sciences se rencontrent à la station de biologie des Laurentides. Félicitons Béatrice Saint-Cyr-Leroux, chargée de projet, et Alain Charbonneau, superviseur de projet. Bravo à vous deux. La médaille d'or est décernée à l'Université de Moncton pour entretien avec le récipiendaire de l'Ordre du mérite 2022. 
Félicitations à l'équipe ainsi qu'à la chargée de projet Suzanne Cyr et la superviseure Jeanne Farah et aux contributeurs Pierre Blanchard. Now on to category 23, best advertisement or poster, online and print. Catégorie 23, meilleure annonce publicitaire ou affiche en ligne ou sur papier. This category had two recipients, and they are de l'Université de Montréal in the bronze pour construire sur la montagne, exposition sur la construction du pavillon Roger Gaudry. Nous félicitons Natacha Monnier, chargée de projet, et Sophie Langlois, superviseur de projet, pour un travail bien fait. And going home with the gold in this category is McMaster University. For humanities, a brighter world needs you. Spectacular efforts by all involved, including project lead Rob Hicks, project supervisor Michael Weber, and the many contributors involved. And now the final category of the celebration is category 24, best photograph. Brock University receives the bronze for grapes galore, a terrific way to show the Brock U student experience, especially after the pandemic. Excellent, excellent work by project lead Marianne Saint-Denis and project supervisor Matt Terry. The silver goes to the British Columbia Institute of Technology for BCIT's Future Student Guide 2022. Microsoft Motion Capture. Judges praised the sophistication of the photo and noted how difficult it was to capture from a technical standpoint. Congrats to project lead Denise Gorkosilich and project supervisor Lara Johnson. And the last award of the 2023 Prix d'Excellence, the gold in category 24 is awarded to Queen's University for rewilding of the castle, a beautiful and evocative photo, which was superbly ex executed for its medium and message. Congratulations to project lead Ruth Dunley, project supervisor Alex Bashara, and photographer Zoltan Attila Keshkes. Félicitations à tous les lauréats d'aujourd'hui, et nous vous remercions tous de votre participation. Same as yesterday, the recipients from today will be posted to the CCAE website, and we encourage you to share in recognizing your colleagues on social media. Je tiens à vous remercier et de remercier l'équipe du CCA pour l'invitation encore une fois cette année et pour tous leurs efforts. I would like to thank C the CCAE team for the opportunity to once again play a small role in this year's Prix d'Excellence celebrations and for all their work that they do behind the scenes to ensure these awards proceed so smoothly. Thank you to the audience for joining us yesterday and today. Merci. And before we end today's celebration, once again, call upon and welcome Julie Davis of Trent University and current chair of the CCAE board for some clothing remarks. Julie. Bravo, Ben, for another outstanding job as this year's MC. On behalf of CCAE, I extend our thanks to you. And if there was a Prix de Excellence Award for hosting, you'd be the runaway winner. Thanks to everyone on the other side of this camera for joining and watching today's festivities and cheering along your colleagues across the country. And of course, congratulations to all the recipients of today's categories. You've produced great work and it has been our honor to celebrate you. Our gratitude again to Tempo Framing Systems for their continued support of this program. And a big thank you to the nearly 70 hosts and judges who volunteered their time to make these awards possible. I hope that I will see many of you in Calgary for our national conference next week. The terrific staff of CCAE, Mark, Tara and Kara have organized a great program and series of events to spark new ideas and forge new connections. So that's a wrap on the 2023 Prix de Excellence Awards. Thank you for joining us. Merci, miigwech.